Hi everyone, in this short video I'm going to show you the basics of connecting a uh, computer or laptop to the console port on a Cisco network device. This concept actually applies to other non-Cisco network devices. Just about any intelligent piece of network equipment has some kind of a Cisco, I mean some kind of a console port on it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a Cisco console cable. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be Cisco brand name, but for this video, this is what we're going to go with. It's typically baby blue. It's got female uh, serial connector on one end. It's got RJ45 on the other. Uh, for those of you who are perfectionist, I know this is not an RJ45. It's also referred to as an 8P8C. Also looks like a network connector. Now, for those of you who don't happen to have a laptop or a computer with a serial port, and that's actually pretty common for most modern uh, computers and laptops, you will need a serial to USB adapter. Okay? Serial mail on one end, USB on the other. When you connect this to the computer, it will require uh, driver software. Uh, you might get lucky and the computer may already have that driver loaded. Windows may already know what it is and install it for you, but this is not going to work properly if you get uh, an error that says, you know, cannot install hardware because it does need that driver. You connect the USB to a USB port on your um, uh, laptop or, or computer. Um, just a side note here, a real common rookie mistake is they get this piece right here and the first thing they think is, ah, I know what that is, that's a network connector. So they plug it into the RJ45 on their, on their computer and then they start looking for something to c connect this to. So if you've made that mistake, don't feel bad. That's pretty common. So what you need then is to take the other end of the USB adapter and mate that with the serial adapter or the serial connector on the Cisco console cable. So lastly, every intelligent network device, like I said, usually has a console port. On Cisco's, they're all labeled with this baby blue label. I'm going to dismount the camera and get a little closer and show you that. On any Cisco device that's intelligent, you need to look for the, the RJ45 port labeled console. That's a console port. That's a console port. There's a console port. There's a console port. Now, here's a non-Cisco uh, non device. This is a Fortinet router. And if you look way back here in a corner, there's a, a console port right there. And this cable actually will work with that. I'm not saying it'll work with everything, but sometimes you get lucky and your Cisco console cable will work with other network devices. All right, so I'm going to connect to console port. Now, I wasn't going to get into the particulars of the software, but uh, there's a couple things you should know. You will need a piece of software. Besides that driver that I told you about to, to make the, the USB to serial cable work, you will need some kind of a software program like HyperTerminal or PuTTY. Windows XP came with HyperTerminal. Windows 7 doesn't. Uh, you can install HyperTerminal on Windows 7, but you can also just easily get the free software called PuTTY. PuTTY is spelled P-U-T-T-Y. That's Papa Uniform Tango Tango Yankee. So PuTTY is a free software that lets you work with things like, you know, console cables. Um, you start it, you launch it, you enter in the COM port. Uh, again, uh, this is not the scope of this video to talk about the software. I'm just showing you about the basic hardware connections. So I just launched my PuTTY. Now this device right here is on. If I hit enter a few times, see now I'm getting I'm getting uh, population. What I'm what I'm getting is is what's known as a a a, a prompt or and it's waiting for me to enter like some login credentials. So so now I'm talking to that Cisco device right here. All right. If you're not seeing this, there was. There's a couple things could be going wrong. One is maybe your driver's not installed properly. Two is you may have the wrong COM port listed. If you want to know what COM port your, your serial to USB adapter is installed on, go into Windows Device Manager, look for COM ports, and you should be able to see it there, and it'll say COM port 4 or 5 or 6. All right, so that's how you do that. I hope that helps somebody out there. Thanks for watching.